Okay, I'm going to talk about here for a few minutes how we took uh, the PRISM climate data and converted it from uh, the text files that we got from this site to the Threads data server, um, which makes it available through a bunch of different services here. So I'm going to show how we did that and then what you can do with these uh, different services that makes it uh, possible to access the PRISM data in a, a lot of different ways for different types of, types of audiences. Okay, so the first thing that we did was um, just grab all those text files and we put them in these uh, a directory, one for each uh, decade. And so um, if we just take a look at uh, oh, one of those directories, um, we can see uh, the bunch of text files there. And then if we take a look at um, one of those text files, it's just these uh, ASC or ASCII ARC grids. So what we did at that point is we wrote a little uh, Python script which I'll show you here and we uh, the key things here is we imported this uh, GDAL package and this imported this netcdf for Python package and then we basically just open up the uh, each of those text files and we uh, and then we uh, create a netcdf data set and um, and we write the, the, the variables in here and so we end up uh, with a bunch of netcdf files which we can see here um, and uh, so if we look at one of these directories here we just see that for each decade we have one netcdf file and uh, the different variables in each of these okay so at that point we've got a bunch of netcdf files we put them in a directory and the threads data server then uses a little bit of xml here um, we create a data set called prism climate data we give it some documentation about the rights and so on and so forth um, down here then we simply we aggregate um, those specific uh, netcdf files in this directory and here's the regular expression which matches all those files we just looked at uh, and this creates a single uh, data set a virtual data a single virtual data set from all that data so all the data available on the prism um, site 117 years all different variables is available through one single data set so if we click on this open dap link uh, if we look down here, we see the different variables, lat, lawn, time, precip precipitation, temperature, temp min. And if we scroll down a little further, we can see that there's 1,403 different time values here for, for each variable, 621 lats, 1,405 lawns. Okay. And, um, you know, we don't, but we don't have to get into that level of detail. Um, uh, we can just go and, say, use one of these viewers here that's linked at the bottom of the page. So this little viewer... Um, you can click on this little tab here, expand and pick a variable, and it just shows you a map of that variable. Um, you can zoom into a particular region by holding on the shift key and dragging. Uh, we can then we can look at a particular time step here. Uh, we could go back a few months and click another one and make it say the first frame. So we have a first frame and a last frame. We have a little animation. We can go monthly and cho choose those four frames. So, so you see it animating those four months. Um, we can also click on a particular spot and it'll tell us the value. If we click here, we can create a little time series plot. So if we, that's just four points, but we could do the whole period of record and see 117 years. Um, so that's one way to look at the data. And uh, another way is to use, say, a tool like uh, MATLAB. So in MATLAB, if I say, um, I use that OpenDAP URL here, um, I can open up the, the uh, file, uh, that URL, just like a data set with uh, NC toolbox for MATLAB. So I get back this NC object. I can look at the variables then. I can see that the, there's the, the same variables we are looking at before. Um, and then I can extract some data by, say, picking the first time step and all the latitude and longitude values. Um, and then I could um, do the same for latitude and longitude and um, basically plot up the, uh, the data here in uh, MATLAB. So I've got the values here in MATLAB um, as a plot, but of course I could also just, I can do operations since I have the data. There's, you know, the numbers streaming by, a lot of NANDs, but um, also a lot of data in there. Um, so I could do something like mean um, of all the, the finite values. Um, so it's 2.8, you know. So anyway, that gives you some idea of the different things. You can access the data from R, or from MATLAB, um, or from Python. And, uh, and do a bunch of other stuff, but that's about it. Thanks.